Okay, guys, I'm putting uh, I'm putting new uh, uh, sway bar in links on a 2007 Ford Focus. I I uh, I got these for twenty three dollars each, and uh, I noticed that they don't have a grease nipple. Um, so right here, there's just this uh, spiral ring, right? And if you just find yeah, you, you see how it's, you know, two two hens there. You can just take, start with the bottom and just kind of raise the rest of it up. And this was, you just follow it along and it'll, it'll come off the rubber. You can take it right off. And then I got a, a grease nipple or I got a, a needle on my grease gun and I just sticks that needle in under the rubber and I just I got it in a vice one man operation here you know what I mean so I just uh pump this up you know with my armpit you know as I'm holding this and I feel this you don't want to feel it too much but you do there wasn't no grease in there hardly at all so you just uh pump that up put grease in this a fair bit of grease in there but you know it's not bulging. I don't want it to bulge out because this is not exactly tight, right? It keeps the boot on, that's all, and which that's the purpose. So, yeah, uh, I may film uh, putting it on or at least take some pictures to show you if you've never done it before. Uh, it's windy and everything today, and it's getting wet, and we're going to get some snow, I think. So, I don't really have time to uh, film, but I, I, I'll show you what I've got done. It, this one came off fairly easy. Um, you need, for these ones, you need a, a 14, 15 millimeter socket for the nut, as you see. And then the old ones won't come, they have spin, right? Where's the old one? Come on, come on. Yeah, let's let's do it this way here. And uh, now, these are more beefier. Wow, big time beefier than, than these. Oh, oh. oh boy. I mean, these are twice the size. I didn't realize that. Hmm. Anywho, uh, it'll do for now. But these ones, uh, they did have grease nipples on it, but the previous owner didn't, um, obviously didn't grease it at all. But what I'm saying is, when you're taking off the nut that's here, this is going to spin. So you need a... 16 millimeter for this wrench for this so you'll hold this and you'll take the nut off to stop this from spinning right uh on this one um let me see if i can show you but uh is it the, yeah this one here i mean uh it, it's very bad excuse the one-handedness but this is like I mean, there's no resistance whatsoever. This one, that's, that's pretty good. Now, the new one, I can't believe how, how much thinner that is. Um, the new one is very hard, <clears throat> right? I mean, you can move it, but it's stiff, right? That's the way it should be. So, unfortunately, this one only had a bad... Top, I believe it was anyway uh, I'll take a, I might videotape uh, what I need to do just let me take you out here if I can get my glassy arms there blinds a bet with them and blinds a bet without them okay what am I doing all right I'll just take you out here and I'll just show you uh, wait a second wait a second yeah, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put some anti-seize on these threads here because I had a hell of a time getting them off. They weren't too, too bad, but yeah. Anyway, I'll do that and I will show you um, what I'm doing later. So, I got the anti anti seize on there not much you don't need much all right now it's a very simple job any, any diy can do it if i can do it i'm sure you can 
this is where it goes right here and right there okay now I don't remember what way yeah this one the nut was on the other side that's right so on the bottom the nut goes through this way and on the top the nut comes towards you the bolt goes through towards you and you put the nut on so you just put them on and uh, torque it down I'm not sure what the torque specs are I gotta look that up right now but you just put them on you may have to lift your sway bar up to get it in clean everything up guys and uh, yeah you can put them on it's very easy it's, it's a simple job uh, if you're thinking about doing it on this like especially this 07 focus don't hesitate you can do it I mean it's the big artist job is getting the nuts off okay thanks so this is what I'm talking about you take this ring half of here it's very simple um, uh, yeah I don't have my tripod so I'm, you have to bear with me if uh, going to make you sick <laughs> but uh you just slip this boot right if you can oh sometimes you be a youtuber you need to be an octopus <laughs> or smart <laughs> either way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the needle under that boot and I'm just going to pump some grease in there so I just wanted to show you, I know I said it last time, but I just wanted to show you uh, exactly how I do it. So you can see there, hopefully, you know, the boot is just off enough. I'm just going to stick the needle down there and squirt some grease. As you can see, eh, there, there's no typical Canadian, eh? <laughs> But uh, as you can see down there, there's hardly any grease whatsoever. Maybe you're supposed to grease them, but it didn't say anything in the package. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do and uh, put it on the car. This one just might do that to me if the other one has anything to any indication. So I'm gonna clean this up with a wire brush, soak it with penetrating oil, and then I'm going to replace the other ones. <laughs> 